Welcome to a spooktacular Tipsy Kitchen. What? You got your vampire candy corn, because that's a thing. Um, a knife in some cheese. Spooky. Spooky. That is right. It is your favorite thick bitch from the Midwest. Sorry, not talking about any celebrity that's overweight that is much better than me. You're stuck with me right now for however many minutes I make this video out to be. Again, this is a spooky episode. AKA that candy corn you see on my table was about as scary as it gets unless I cut my finger open again and lose all feeling in my other index finger. The night's young and I'm sweaty kind of drunk, so. Let's see where tonight goes. Tonight we're making some fried chicken, some fettuccine alfredo. Super simple, super easy, but we're spicing it up and flipping the script a little bit. Um, I'm pretty sure I did not pronounce the T in script. There we go, did it. Uh, so the alfredo sauce that I'm making tonight, typically it's made with parmesan, parmesian. Um, I'm gonna make it with pepper jack and a little bit of mozzarella to make it a little thicker than normal. Um, to give it that really cummy uh, texture. Sorry mom, I know you watch these. And fried chicken is gonna be coated in stuffing. So it's gonna be like mini Thanksgiving, but like chicken. We'll see what happens, I mean, I have to somehow make this work. It will work. Um, also, we have a special segment tonight where I read profiles and comments that men have left me from all the dating sites I'm on. So stick tuned, stay tuned, oh man. Stay tuned, cause it's about to get weird. As you can see here on my stove, you're gonna need at least one big pot and you're gonna need at least two pans. Uh, one to fry the chicken and one to make the alfredo sauce. And of course, the big pot is to boil the noodles, you weird freaks. Not for nothing sexual, unless you're into it. I'm not blaming you, it's 2020, man. Tonight's gonna be kept simple as well. It is super easy to actually make an alfredo sauce and fry some chicky chicks. Um, so first, what we're gonna do is get the noodles, the noodle water, I should say, We'll get that boiling up here soon. I have about mm, maybe a few ounces of butter. I'm not mathing. Um, we'll start to get this up to temperature for the chicken here, which means bada boom, bada boom, boom, bing. We need to get our chicken mixings ready. A couple eggs, some flour, and that beautiful stuffing mix. Thank you, stovetop. Mm. Hot tip for you guys, flour is a great coder for when you're frying things, but what a lot of people don't know is that you should use flour when your ingredients, like your meats, are super moist and damp still, because it helps dry it out to fry it properly. Because if you fry something that has a lot of moisture in it, oh, splatter city. So many burns. This one's for people that followed me from Snapchat over. Taught you how to crack a little baby egg open. With just one hand. Boom. Get that crack ready. Thumb in to the little crevice. And then push it in. Lift it up. Boom, pour it out. Pour one out for that little poor chicken homies. That's for you chicken homies. So there you go, another hot tip. How to crack an egg with one hand, what? Scramble. Once you've brutally beaten those unfertilized chicken eggs, take a moment to look at this zit I popped on my forehead as I sip some wine from my chalice. I have debated this part of the recipe for hundreds of days probably a month or five. Um, 
Do you put the flour on first? Do you coat it in eggs first? Um, to me, it doesn't matter. Just get it coated. Food is food, man. So, we're gonna coat these badass chicky chickens in flour, kind of dry them out a little bit, give them a good dousing in these beat up, unfertilized embryos, AKA eggs. And we're gonna coat the shit out of them in this beautiful stuffing mix. Again, sponsored by Stovetop that I bought. Thanks, Stovetop. You're delicious. This break is also bought to you, bought to you. Oh man, brought to you by alcohol. <laughs> Why have memories of your life? Got those bad boys coated up into the pan. So some of you may be like, Stan, that's probably not enough butter. I know. I'm gonna put the lid on, let it kind of saute and simmer and keep moisture in it for a little bit, give them a good flip, and then put a few more pats of butter on there. They don't call me the Midwest obese Dan for nothing, bitches. I got a B cup for a reason, what? <laughs> oh, my doctor wants me to lose weight. As you can see here, I have minced up some fresh garlic. <laughs> garlic that's been on my stove for like half a year. Um, next, we're gonna shred up this pepper jack cheese. Some of you may be wondering, Dan, what's your secret to just shredding some cheese? And it's just, I don't know, my years of, of athleticism and a strong hand. Yes. Mmm. So there we have it. Minced garlic, shredded cheese. Mmm. That chicken is doing its thing. That pasta water, it's getting there, boo-boo. Life is a journey, but we all take it at different, you know, speeds and distances and directions. Or whatever my therapist lies to me about. So, while we're waiting for the pasta water to boil, and then eventually the fettuccine, the fettuccine, um, let's get to the fun segment where we explore my love and, and relationships online. Now this is a combination of profiles and comments that have come from Hinge and Grindr. Um, what's the other things? Um, you know, farmers meet, um, Christians mingle, all of it, just all of it. So let's see, this guy's profile was called, hey, I'm looking to host. And he went on a diatribe about what he's looking for. What I'm looking for in a man that does not, here's the thing, superly, superly, superly in grammatic, ungrammatic. I have no right to judge this, but I'm going to. <laughs> Looking for a man that does not do any drugs. D-U-E. Do. FYI, Mary Jane is not bad or a drug. <laughs> It is, technically. Anything that pretty much alters your mind is a drug, sir. Uh, ooh, he went on to say, I want someone that wants me as much as I want them. Don't use me as a sex toy. Dot, dot, dot. Looking for sex. Okay. That one was fun. Lock. Ooh, this one was a couple from right here in a while. Um... This one's boyfriend just says, apparently, I'm weird for wanting a pet goat. You're in Ohio. You're not weird. Just starving for attention. Like me. Ooh, this guy didn't have a name. He was just 48 years old. Um, and all his profile said was, looking to explore my inner sissy. Ooh, honey, all you have to do is run that mile in gym class in middle school being overweight. That'll, <laughs> that'll get you sissied right up. Ooh, I like this one. Not gonna give his name, obviously, for legal reasons. What? Um, so I just, his name is Guy. We'll put it that. Looking for my next nap, cup of coffee, plant, 
I love him. He's super, super, supper. He's supper. He's super sweet. Like, that is super cute. Like, to put plants and coffee in there? What? Then he goes on and puts ellipses. Dot, dot, dot. Or dick. And to be honest, that's what I want in our wedding vows. What else we got? Mmm, this one was fun. Um, this guy was like 60 years old. Nothing wrong with that. You know, welcome, welcome to the club. Never, it's better to be late than not arrive to your truth. Um, he just says, hey, I'm an oral bottom looking for younger. Under 30, please. Never been happier to be 31. Okay. Mm, this one I marked just simply as dog. Uh, he's super cute in his profile photos. Adorable. Don't know his name. All I know is his last photo is him wearing a very tight leather dog mask. Not kink shaving. Leather is leather can be fun, but that's one step closer to a furry. The furriest I want to get to is what's on my chest, and my face, my ass. Uh, and last but not least, uh, a guy I had a three-way with two years ago on my birthday. I wrote down here, oh, he's just an asshole. Cool. Thank you for coming to my dating segment. Let's check on the chicken. With that water bubbling. Yes, get that feta chime. Fedu Chine, sponsored by Tipsy Kitchen. Get it in there. Yeah. We're gonna boil this badass pasta batch up for the next 10 ish minutes. We're gonna get it whoppy, wet ass pasta y. We're gonna drain it. We're gonna check our chicken. Oh, it is getting, it smells like Thanksgiving right now because of this damn chicken. And. <laughs> aroused. So, while I'm still waiting for these noodles to boil up, I've gotten a stick of butter, roughly a stick of butter, and a cup and a half of heavy cream here in a pan, ready to make that Alfredo sauce. Um, the little bit of cream I had left, I threw it in with my chicken to keep it tender, to keep it moist, to keep it damp, to keep it... I'm not gonna keep going with that, um, but you see where I'm going with this. That way, the chicken's not going to burn completely. And it smells delicious right now, guys. Oh my god, I'm proud of me and us in this journey. This journey. Yes. Always remember to keep your chicken in the densest, fattiest internal part at at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's check this chicken and see if we can get that Alfredo sauce started. <laughs> With this beautiful, beautiful chicken. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> it is internally a little over 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Totally okay, that means all them salmon manelas is dead, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna drain this pasta. We're gonna turn this cup and a half and stick of butter pan. Um, probably about a medium temperature, start to get the simmering and melting together. Um, and then eventually, we'll just start whisking. I love whisking. Whisk. Hot tip here when it comes to making Alfredo, which again is super, super simple, even the normal way. You want to keep it to a medium or low medium temperature because you want the butter to slowly incorporate here into the cream. You want it to slightly bubble, as you can see here, but you don't want it to bubble over. Because that's when fires happen, and that's when C-A-M-P-F-I-R-E, S-O-N-G song happens. And for another word from a sponsor that I made up. Tipsy Kitchen is brought to you by bidets. If you're having a bad day, why don't you sit on your bidet and turn that bitch up to the hottest, highest pressure. As you can see here, little bubbles. This is perfect, this is what we wanted. So we wanna add in half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of Italian dressing, and it's usually it's about a fourth 
of a teaspoon of pepper, but we're gonna do half a thing of pepper, spice it up a little bit. And then once you've mixed that in, gradually, slowly whisk this pile of pepper jack heaven into it. In about, this, a bag of cheese is typically two cups. Um, do a, a little handful. Remember, we want it cummy. We don't want it thick. Is there a difference? I don't know, I really need to go back to church at this point and pray. I forgot to say, about a half a teaspoon of minced garlic goes in there. Let's add the cheese. So I've added the cheese in there. We're gonna let this melt down. Whisk it until it is thick, but thin, thick, thin. Mm-hmm, yeah. You still want it to be slightly soupy, but you don't want it to be sloppy. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> girlfriend, right? Oh my god. Always, always, always save your Alfredo sauce for last when you're making this meal because it goes on immediately to those noodles. Look at this. Cummy, right? <laughs> yeah, those guys in the back of that gay bar that one time I was in, you know, that's the consistency, right? Yeah. Subscribe, please. It, everything is done. Let's plate it, let's eat it, let's mouth taste it and feel it. Oh, yes. I think it's all done. Let's uh, take a gander, shall we? She is sexy. That outer chicken is crisp but delicious. Mm. Look at that stuffing shell on it. <laughs> Look at that. Mmm, mmm, pepper jack mozzarella alfredo. What? All homemade, super simple. Mmm. So that was it, you freaks, you weirdos. That was a spooktacular Dipsy Kitchen. Oh, scary job, right? Yeah, no, it's not even Halloween. Here I am doing a, a freaking Halloween episode. What am I? A syndicated television series on Fox? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, share my videos, make fun of me. I don't give a shit. This is fun. Do something fun in your pandemic time. Other than job search and try to lose weight. <sighs> Have copious amounts of sex. Find love. Write that novel you've wanted to write for 50 years, Stuart. <laughs> Do whatever your heart desires. Thanks again, guys. Subscribe if you love the show. Uh, the more subscribers, the more viewership, the more high quality this could potentially get. I could be like the next Ellen <laughs> without berating people.